Hello customers and welcome to today's video. My name's Jesse, I'm a Perth marriage celebrant and MC. Today I'm down here at Car Place along Leach Highway in Melville taking you through some car walkthrough videos. Behind me, 2017 Volkswagen Tiguan. Let's start it off my friends. As we do in all our vids from the front whilst I list off our key features packed inside. We have nine airbags, power windows, daytime running lights, GPS satellite navigation, an eight speaker stereo sound system, cargo cover, and a stack of other features that fingers crossed I'm gonna be able to fit as much as I can inside this short amount of time that we have. We hope you enjoy the video. We're gonna start off by touching on the presentation. Now, I tell you what guys, the detailing and the cleaning team at this yard, they do an awesome job. Sometimes the film team beats the cleaning team to the car. So if you do notice any specs about the place, don't worry about it. Upon purchase, they're gonna have this car looking like a 2021 vehicle. It'll be that sparkly, that shiny. Moving on, we're gonna jump straight into features next. At the top here, you'll see a camera. Okay, that's the best safety feature to happen to cars since the brake, the foot brake, okay? We call that collision mitigation. That camera is forever looking forward, forever looking in front of you at the chance of a potential collision, okay? Uh, if, if that occurrence ever happens, it's gonna alert you with a sound and may even sometimes engage the brake on your behalf as well, okay? Depending on how fast you're going. Okay, cool, you're gonna love that safety feature. It's absolutely brilliant. Um, that also might make up the lane keep assist, okay, which is a feature that I noticed in the drop down menu below this video. Uh, the lane keep will literally, it, th that camera looks at the lines on the road that make up the lane with, within which you drive. And if you happen to not be paying attention and you veer towards the outside of the lane, the, car, the t car's technology will take over power of the steering wheel and just nudge you left or right back inside the lane. It's freaking awesome, okay? Now there's not too much else to cover along the front other than the presentation and the, just notice the chrome finishes along the front here. Your headlights, a handful of features to talk about here. Number one, automatic. They automatically turn on, you don't need to wait for it to get dark and turn them on yourself. They have daytime running lights installed. They have an auto dip feature with the high beams. It's gonna sense an oncoming car and then dip your high beams down so you don't need to panic and turn off it, the high beams really quickly, okay? Um, as the see me home feature, your car lights will stay on, illuminating the pathway to your front door, your back door, wherever you're parking, and until you press lock on your fob is when your lights will turn off couple more features there guys but I think I've covered a lot there so let's continue uh, down the left hand side of your car we're gonna start off by zooming in on those 17 inch alloy rims if you don't know much about alloy they are much lighter in weight compared to steel rims cars carrying around a mu much less weight as it would otherwise notice the guard plates along the perimeter of your wheel here any debt if this is damaged it's easily replaceable okay and that's just gonna protect your vehicle and notice just that it wraps around the entirety of the car, continues along the side here. Speaking of the side, side mirrors, all right? Uh, it's got a side indication light. They fold in, they are heated, they're not gonna fog up in cold weather, and that'll do us. We have a, per, uh, a chrome finish along the perimeter of your windows. Tint along here, much darker tint along the back. We call this privacy glass and its purpose is twofold. Number one, to give you a bit of privacy and security to any valuables happening that may happen to be in the back seat. Secondly, less sunlight pierces the car and, and um, heats up your car when it's parked in the sun uh, much less fast, okay? Um, much more slowly. Okay, vertically running roof racks. We've, looks like we've got the keyless entry, okay? Hold your thumb over that sensor as long as the fob of the vehicle is within range and that's gonna lock and unlock your car at the press of that sensor. It's so convenient, you're gonna love it. A chrome finish, this, this bar along the side here. Now allow me to bring you down. Let's zoom in on our back left-hand tire. A little more about alloy wheels. They hold up really well in wet weather. They're not gonna rust, they're not gonna stain. They're always gonna keep their, their shine. Notice the parking sensor, your first parking sensor towards the back. This is where you want to have a parking sensor in this blind spot. The most blind spot of all spots in your car. Wrap around brake lights to take us to the rear. Okay, we're gonna start from the top, move to the bottom and then jump inside. From the very top, we've got a dolphin fin antenna. Spoiler feature. 
Your brake light on the right hand side here has a water jet that's going to combine with your back windscreen wiper to clean off any dust. Notice the demisting strips and notice the privacy glass installed along the back. Chrome finish, chrome badges to the left and right. Finance options we'll talk about later. It has copped a little bit of knocks and and bips and bops about the place along the back here, so be mindful of that. Uh, more parking sensors, four along the back here. Okay, time now. Oh, reverse camera here as well, I've just touched it. Trying to find the, that, the opener for your boot. Okay. So first up, just look how much space you have, my friends. Plenty of it for all your groceries and your necessities and your luggage. Now let's talk about some features. Along the top, you've got a cargo tray. If you don't like this, no problem. You can simply unhook it from its holsters in the top corner there and store this in your shed or in your garage somewhere. Next up, your seats three, four, and five can collapse forward if you need more space, of course. Next, you've got a heavy duty boot floor, okay? If you carting around any heavy or, or, or you know pointy cargo uh, that could potentially damage the carpet. Well, that's the purpose of this, okay? It's just gonna protect your floor. Now, the floor itself, carpet, really nice, my friends. Really nice to the touch, presenting great. Lift up the floor, spare tire, with all the tools around the left and right hand sides there to equip that. We also have a cargo net, okay? Hook this bad boy into the corners of the boots and be able to strap down any loose cargo that might roll around. So I'll tuck that away just to the left hand side there. Um, and uh, guys, I think that's pretty much it. I think I've covered everything. A 12 volt power supply lastly in the top corner here to equip any accessories. Okay, so let's close off your boot using this button there. I press it once, it closes all by itself. The kids are gonna love that. Okie doke, down the right hand side. Fuel cap on the right hand side. Oh, I noticed that it's a push open fuel cap. Okay, tighten that up for you. You don't need to have to remember to pull the lever next to your seat. Let's zoom in on this back right hand tire. ABS brakes installed. That, that essentially means your car won't skid in an emergency scenario. You will be able to maintain traction and stability on the road. All right, your interior, we've got a partial leather, partial plastic finish. Power windows. Okay, let's jump inside. And as you can see, the leather seats in the center there, the armrest with your drink holders. The central, on the back of the central storage unit here, uh, you got a 12 volt power supply, a couple of USB inputs. And notice this, you go through the Macca's drive-through and you need a food tray? Well, I thought of everything, guys, because you've got a food tray for your back passengers. They've thought of everything, okay? Can you believe it? I'm just gonna double check. I did say USB inputs earlier, and I think I am wrong. I'm not too sure what those two buttons are. I think that just might be the air conditioning buttons, but I'll tell you what, guys, to be mindful of that and follow up on your with your car salesperson about that back feature. We just roll with the punches with these videos, people. We just roll with them. We just keep on going, all right? Okay, let's jump into the front. Same interior as I mentioned earlier. All power windows, that's your side mirror adjustment. Up here, the locks for your car. Here, a button to open your boot. Moving inside the car, we've got all our light controls here and illumination settings Oh no, that's your, level, uh, your electric level adjustment here, changing the angle of your headlights, okay? Moving up to our steering wheel, leather, really nice to the touch. Uh, chrome finish in the center there. To the right hand side are some menu controls, perhaps station controls and volume controls as well. And to the left hand side here looks to be your, uh, what is it? Is that your cruise control settings? Yes, it is, it is your cruise control settings. Confused me there for a, for a moment. I'm so used to seeing that on the other side. And as I mentioned earlier, this is your button to engage the lane assist, the cameras that uh, create or, or pick up on the white lines that create your lane, okay? So that's all here. Okay, um, let's talk about our central features. From the top, you've got a sound system speaker. 
Oh, no, that's not a speaker, that's storage. Look at that. There you go. Hide some knickknacks away, some secret presents for your partner. Hide them in there. Okay, air conditioning. Here's your uh, multimedia unit. Massive screen, by the way. You may as well be in the cinema, it's that big. Uh, maps, highlighting the traffic, details about your car, the main menu. You, you, you know what this thing does, okay? Hook your phone up into the system as well text messaging, phone calls, your your phone maps version, if you like that one better, and uh, music streaming services, you name it, it's going to be on there. As we drop down further, these two buttons on the left hand side and right hand side are your seated, uh, heated seats or cooling seats, so literally there's an air con vent that will heat you up or cool you down from your backside. Standard controls along here for air conditioning and then the last thing I want to point out is the temperature on the passenger side can be a different temperature to the driver's side. Bit of storage down here with a 12 volt power supply, an AUX input and a USB input. Push start engine, no more key turning it about, you just press the, the button. Partial leather gear stick. Okay, let's talk about these features starting on the left. This button here. Your car will turn off at the traffic lights to save you fuel. If you don't like that, you can turn it off. This here is your parking assist. If you're in a tight spot, press this button, the technology engages and just, uh, there is the chance that it takes over control of the steering wheel, which we, happened in a car that we did earlier today, uh, or it could just be simply the parking sensors and telling you how much space you have. Uh, you'll have to experience that when you come for a test drive. And lastly, this button here, man, you press that and then on your display screen up here, it, uh, it just shows you all of the cameras that you have at your disposal around the vehicle to just to, to help you get out of any tight situations, okay? Next up on the right hand side is the electronic park brake. Notice, notice that there's no unsightly handle anymore. Now it's all electronic. That's awesome. Auto hold as well, all the usual suspects here. If I pull this back, you've got two drink holders. A leather armrest and center console. How do I pop this open? Oh, there's no button. You just lift it up with your strength and you've got enough room in there for maybe two or three beers. Drop that down. Okay, let's go through your glove box now. Here is where your CD player is if, of course, you are so inclined to use your CD player, all right? We also have your glove box is cooled as well, so you can uh, you turn that feature on and any valuables that you're storing in here aren't going to melt in the hot sun, all right? This is gonna keep it nice and cool. So, Volkswagen wallet. Inside, the, the, the servicing schedule. Uh, what, what's this? The infotainment system owner's manual, and then at the back there, aside all these different receipts and whatnot, is the Tiguan owner's manual. Harry Potter size novel right there, okay. What do we got in the service history? We got the first service at 15,000 Ks in 2018. Now let's go, just go, go th oh no, hold on, the first, up here. May 2017 at 1,700 kilometers. This one that I talked about earlier was for the next, uh, the next service, which is there. So, so far we're at two services, okay? Three, four, five, Five, five services, read them and weep. Now that last service, the 7th of April 2021, okay? So that's like three, three weeks ago as of today. So tucking that away, now we hope that gives you peace of mind, my friends, that the car has been looked after. Uh, if it doesn't and you need more, well allow me to provide you with some. All the cars here at this yard go through a 100 point safety inspection checklist. That's 100 points that the qualified mechanics down the road tick off the inspection list and that, that, may, and that they make sure are up to a safety, moral and legal standard before they come in for filming, okay? So two thumbs up. Next up, check this out. License and registration lasts until the 20th of September this year. So that's almost six months worth of included registration. Sun visor with a mirror and a light. Over here, let's start off by talking about your anti-glare rear view mirror. If someone behind you has bright lights, that will diminish the impact on your eyes. And lastly, 
my friends, just when you thought this car couldn't get any better, check it out. It's the sunroof, guys. It's the sunroof. Now, you, it's obviously drawn back this. It's closed now, but you know how sunroof works. Oh, there's all the controls over here to be able to uh, push the shade back and open up the sunroof and, uh, yeah, experience that feature. You have to give it, a, give it a whip, give it a test when you come and take this for a test drive, eh? Okay, let's pack some things away and continue the tour. Next up, I want to say that the previous owner of this car had to have been female because this car smells so good, like candy. All right, leather seats, super comfortable. Along the floor, carpet floor mats. Don't forget about your airbags as well. One here, one in the headrest, one in the door. They're everywhere, okay? You just can't, you can't count them all. There's that many airbags. Okay, lastly, check this out. That's your seating presets, okay? So let's say you're number one, someone comes in the car, changes your seat settings, you can just simply press one again and the seat will change back into your spot. Same with two, so you have three different settings for your seat. And if I wanna adjust it, it's all electronic. Check that out. No more handles. No more triggers, no more nothing, this, nothing, all that. Okay. Popping the hood, closing this off. Looking for any imperfections I should probably point out and I can't see any. Check out your last tire, everyone, whilst I go ahead and pop the hood. All right. First up, this helps me to lift the heavy hood and it holds it there too. Soundproofing board along the top. I'll step backwards, you can check out your engine bay and I'll list off some final bits and pieces. It takes premium unleaded fuel. There's 60,000 Ks on the odometer. You're looking at a 1.4 litre engine. It's a front wheel drive and Bob is your uncle. Bob is your uncle, my friends. Let's close this off and wrap up the video. Thanks so much for watching guys. Hope you enjoyed. Hopefully you got enough of a demonstration and uh, with this info can choose to decide whether you want to come and take it for a test drive or not, okay? Two more things. Warranty is available. Guys, get the warranty. You won't regret it. It'll give you the peace of mind, which is more valuable than anything really, and it'll save you from any potential headaches that you may encounter your first handful of years after you buy the car. And lastly, same day finance approval. That's our special way of saying that Eddie, our finance guy, is a Jedi at what he does. He's so great. He'll hook you up, he'll look after you, and he'll get it done so quick that that enables us to say same day finance approval, all right? So guys, if you think the car might be for you, book in a test drive, take it down Leach Highway and back, see how you feel. Thanks so much for watching, my friends. Have a wonderful day. We'll hear from you soon.